Okay, day 14, we're going to Baha'i. From Iriba to Baha'i, they had told us that it was about four hours. We just heard that it can be made in two and a half hours. So uh, we're ready for not as tough as, uh, as tough as a day as we had thought it was going to be. Our uh, trusted driver. Isha, are you ready for the trip? Yes. Uh, Everything's checked out? Filters? Yeah. Oil? Yes. Engine? You have to show his foot, a very heavy foot. Transmission. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is the lead foot yeah. right there. And Akai, how's Akai doing? Akai looks ready for a nap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so next stop. The Bahai. desert. Yeah. They tell us that it's gonna be well, more <laughs> remote, oh. more of a desert than here. So yeah. it'll be interesting. Alright, say that again. What'd you say? Bon voyage, alors. All right. Yeah, but we're not going to be talking with Sudanese. Uh, oh, so just on this side? Don't yeah, we're just staying on this side. We are in Tine, Chad, and uh, Tine, Sudan is just, uh, what, maybe uh, half a mile that way? We tried to go film the border. Uh, we actually got to the border. We, we could see the Sudanese flag on the other side, but uh, the military personnel did not let us film. They sent us back to try and get a permit. Uh, this guy at the border police could not make a decision, took us to the gendarme. They said uh, we didn't have anything that said Tine, Sudan in our permit. So we just cannot film the other side. Um, but they do tell us that Tine, Sudan is completely empty, that only the African Union and uh, Sudanese military are there. Well, thank you very much for showing us your home. Um, can you tell me your first name? I am not even is my brother Saleh. He is a brother Saleh. Lagi men Darfur. He is a refugee from Darfur. Okay. Talat men hena taban yom sabo ashirin shahar wahed sanat alfen wa arba. Talat sabo ashirin. Sabo ashirin. Shahar wahed. Sabo ashirin shahar wahed. Sanat alfen wa arba. And he left Sudan. And uh, 70, 27, uh, 27 you know. January 2004. Um, I, I'm, I'm curious how different is your home here from the way your home was back in Darfur? Uh, he said that there is a great difference between uh, his house, which is in Sudan, and here. His house is built with bricks, and he has a millet machine. So it is a great difference with the house for this example. No, here he is living. He is in the town. Like you have seen now. What was his? What did he do back in Darfur? What was his? What did he do back in Darfur? Uh, I'm a tavern trader. He's a trader. A trader. And his wife, uh, what what did she do she is back in uh, Darfur? Malima, Malima. She is a teacher. Also a teacher. Yes. Um, can I ask you uh, what happened in uh, January of 2004 that made you come okay. to Chad? 
آه طبعا سنة 2000 سنة شهر واحد سنة 2004 On January 2004 there is an incursion of Janjaweed with the Sudanese army they have attacked the village so they are living close to the border as a man they have fled their villages by leaving their properties and they come to chat as a refugee say that uh, all the uh, all their village and uh, town have been burned completely so at this time he has fled with all his family yes he has left all his properties بعدين في بعض الضحايا في الناس مثلا ما قدروا يطلعوا دل طبعا في ناس ماتوا هناك عيال صغار وحتى الناس الكبار بالفعل القصف ذاك يعني فترة الصباحية ده ماتوا. Some of the people who, have, who didn't have time to flood have been killed during the attack in the village. People he knew close to him. أعرف الناس اللي كان جو ماتوا. أنا أعرف أنا أعرف أسر كثيرة جدا يعني الناس اللي فقدوا طبعا معروفين. He said that he knew many families have been killed in this uh, during this attack. Uh, what was the what was the experience like of leaving leaving the town? Uh, did they have to hide? Uh, what happened right after the attack? They cannot go back to the village. So reason why they have uh, uh, they have a journey for four days before coming to the border of Chad in Bahai. So they walked for four days. Yeah, four days. Why does what does he understand about why they were attacked? Uh, the, the Sudanese government don't want the people who have the black skin. So the reason why they want to attack and to kill them all in order to be replaced by by Janjaweed. Uh, this is Bahai, and this will be our home for the next three days. Not much out there, barely any trees or any green. We're in the UNHCR compound, and they've been gracious enough to let us stay in one of their tents. And uh, the best thing of all is that we got a lot of. Uh, juice, a lot of electricity, a place to plug into, so we're happy and ready for Orikasini, which is the camp that is half an hour from here.